What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And let me start off by saying that today is December 26th, so hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas. And on the flip side of that, it is extremely hard to get motivated the day after Christmas when you know that you've literally got two days and they're going to be not full day per se. It, yeah, it's just because, like, oh. well, we celebrate a lot of our family stuff between Christmas and New Year's. So the few work days that we do have in between, it's really hard. But that's actually something you guys are going to hold us accountable this year because, well, we got to keep creating content for you guys. And today, we're going to be starting on this huge project. Just to recap, and if you did see the other one, don't worry guys, this won't take too long. Right now, this applicator, this is our side dress applicator. This is what we use to put all of our nitrogen on the corn come springtime. Right now, the flow is controlled through the orifices in these valves, and basically the machine is set up into five sections. So we are gonna rip all that plumbing off, put on precision plantings, V-apply, I think they're still called. Um, there's a little bit of updates since we did this on the corn planter, so that might not be the true, true name for it anymore. But long story short, each individual row is going to be electronically controlled through precision planting system. Once we're all done, we're gonna have row by row control. It's all gonna be on the monitor in the cab and it's just gonna be a lot more accurate and precise. With that being said, Kyle is cleaning off our workbench. Looks like he's just about finished. And we need to start laying this out because most of this stuff is technically made for planters. Well, putting it on a side dress bar, you gotta do a little bit more custom fabricating than what you have to do on their planters. So first things first, we gotta get everything opened up and figure out exactly what we have. Box. And we've got about 20, what, 25 of these boxes. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming these are the brackets that go on each row. I think these are all modulars that go on the brackets. All right, well, only about 20 minutes of searching the internet and problem solving. I think we finally figured out. So these are the brackets that are gonna go on each row. How they're gonna mount on the row, we're not sure yet. That's the next problem. But currently, this is the EMHD. This is what controls the flow. Everything gets controlled through this here. So those are gonna mount like that. This is your electromagnetic flow sense is going to mount here. So this is your controller. This is your flow sense that tells the controller what it's doing. That's going to mount like that. So this is going to come off the trunk line through the flow sense, 90 into here, and then go out to your knife. So right now we have 25 of those Well, that honestly didn't take us too long. They're all done and they actually set on there real nice. But that was the easy part. So our next goal is to figure out how to mount these. So 
I'm ass we're assuming slash guessing that most of them should be able to mount kind of like this on the bar next to the blade. And it's going to be one of those kind of row by row decisions. Let's where does it fit on this row? Okay, where does it fit on this next row? So it's, def it's not going to be a monotonous, they all mount in the same spot. But we are to the point where we need this thing unfolded. So I know we got to get the truck out, move the fan and the ladder. We might be able to just slide that back and that could be all we need. If you want to back it out, I'll open the other side. Yeah, Kyle got a new break time activity. No kidding. I think Kyle, it's, uh, mom and dad actually bought it for the grandkids, for my kids and my sister's kids. And well, hopefully for Kyle's kids eventually. Hopefully. <laughs> if he ever figures out how it works. <laughs> no, so it's actually for the grandkids, but I'm not going to lie. Kyle and I have... Uh, been on it more than once already all right that should give us enough room moved this out of the way and in case anybody's wondering this is off our 2305 John Deere lawn tractor and it is for sale so if anybody needs a custom little front end loader for a John Deere lawn tractor let us know we'd like to get it moved Nothing wrong with it, we just didn't want it on there. I've been having some terrible issues with the batteries on this thing, so we'll see see if she starts. I know. Hopefully it's warm enough, hopefully it will. Woo! Just barely. And I got nothing hooked up. Well, unfortunately, it's going to have to start twice today because, well, I didn't have any of my hoses set up yet and I don't really feel like opening a door to let the exhaust out and all of our heat. This is going to be <laughs> trial and error if I do it. <laughs> I don't know what going to uh, <laughs> it's dad's fault he told me yeah, it would start he, again. he said it would he said if it'll do it once it'll do it a second time yeah well he's not the one out here to jump liar <sighs> luckily it's over here already to go yeah luckily we're warming in the shed I'm not sure if Kyle got that on video, but uh, this tip, yeah, I came within about half an inch of putting a nice little dent or even hole in our ceiling, but I didn't. That's all that matters. Next step in solving this puzzle, we know that most of these are going to end up mounting right next to the knife. So what we've got to do first is we've got to get this part of the hosing off. So Kyle is thinking that we're going to have to support these with a jack when we loosen them. I'm thinking we'll be able to do one at a time and kind of get them finagled out. but Which would be nice, but I'm putting the jack under it because I'm not dropping those discs at six inches on the concrete. Valid point, valid point. 
Stop the can. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So that removes that, gets that out of our way. We got that. Now let's see if we can do that. All right, well, in the span that battery died and I went and got another one, Kyle figured out how to get that out. I guess both bolts need to be loose and then they come out a lot easier. This one's actually going to be pretty easy because you see it's on the it's on the nut side, not the bolt side. So take the nuts off, pull the bracket off, put the nuts on. Same for that one. It's when we get down here when we have to pull the whole bolt. That's the pain. Just hurry up and put it back in. Well, I'm not gonna lie, taking all of these off took a whole lot longer than what I, I expected them to. But they're off, it's clean, it's done, on to the next. So we're gonna start with basically the ones that are easy to mount. We're gonna start with pretty much all the ones that kinda just go right beside the knife and then we'll We'll tackle ones like this that are a little more complicated, a little more tight on space. We'll do those last. And maybe we'll think of some big solution by then. So honestly, this should be as simple as literally that. And bolt it on. Dug over to yep. 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 Simple as that. That's nice. So the trunk line is going to be up here. It's going to feed in right there, go through, and then from here, this is going to get cut off and brought right over to here. So it should be a pretty slick setup. All right, let's get the rest of them on. This one, unfortunately, there's no room on this side. Hey, there should be enough room. Stick it right here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Well, the problem solving on these has begun already because, well, there's nothing down here wide enough for this monstrous bracket that they somehow came up with. So this back side is going to run down to this one. We're going to stick one on the front side right here, and then we're going to have to actually run a hose down to that one. This one fit just fine, and we're going to have to stick one. right here on this back side and we're gonna have to run it under to that one so they're gonna be kind of staggered but that's really the only way we've got room to put them on first decision change which I'm surprised it's only the first one so originally I had these modules on this bar that flips up mounted here in front well we've kind of changed and we're gonna start mounting them back here where they're a little more protected and that way they're not constantly flipping up and down with the bar so that's what i'm working on and then basically we will have a legit location for each of the modules i just have to copy what i did on that side to this side and kyle's actually going to help me out since we are putting so many inside this framework he's going to he's going ahead and getting all of these hoses that we know we're not going to use anymore out of my way basically everything from these one inch lines 
all of this is coming out and then everything from there is getting scrapped. All that so that we can drain this without dumping fluid all over the floor. Get it off the bar and we can get a bucket under it a little easier. So now we're going to pull all these, all these, get them drained out with trying to spill as little as possible. Plug, 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 plug. Dad's over here trying to find a fact for today's video. I feel a whole lot more comfortable with this project now than I did this morning. I feel the same level of comfortable. Totally I, clueless? I, yeah, I wasn't stressed one day. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'll put a bolt in where I'm told, I'll plug in this where I'm told, and I'll tighten the zip tie where I'm told. It doesn't fit. Cut, drill, tap, and die, baby. <laughs> Weld it on. <laughs> and that's why he is not in charge. <laughs> All right, Dad, what's your fact? Which one did you land on? Uh, he forgot them. <laughs> <laughs> I was really disappointed to find out that Fruit Loops are all the same flavor. I was kind of disappointed. Yeah, they're all colorful, but it doesn't matter. No, giraffes, giraffes are 30 times more likely to be hit by lightning than we are as a human. <laughs> Which makes sense. Obviously. Makes sense. They're a whole lot taller. <clears throat> Looks like you guys get two facts today. Well, not in this area. Not in this area. We don't have <laughs> any giraffes in this area. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess you got to have giraffes in the area <laughs> for them to get hit over you. Uh, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We are going to continue this project in the next video because, well, we are nowhere near done. See you in the next one.